My dudes, what's going on? Welcome to episode 3 of the Alchemy Bubble tier list. Today, we're going to be tackling the High IQ Cauldron, aka the Purple Bubbles. If you want to see the full conversation, the video link is in the description below. But anyways, let's get into it. Chat to start off, the first one we have is Stable Genius, which gives you total wisdom and it gives you plus one total wisdom per level. I think this is the same as every other tier list. If anything, this is stronger than Roid Raging and Swift Stepping. This is the strongest one out of the all the total bubble levels. Not even a question. We all know it. It isn't base wisdom, but it's still super, super strong. Easy S tier. All for kill. Tac Talents give a percent higher bonuses to offline games than they normally do, and it takes Takes biny logs, which come from the giant tree. This is like literally the only thing that you're ever going to print viney logs for, but it does help with AFK gains a decent amount, but it does scale terribly. I personally think because it costs viney logs, you're not going to really make this a huge priority, but I mean, you'll eventually hit kill cap anyways, regardless. So I'll put it like high C. It's okay. Early to mid game bubble. But once you get out past that point, it kind of just super falls off. Maddie stat for it gives you total percent damage. And this is added of total percent damage. Don't let the description fool you. We could say that this is at the same tier as Britley Spears or Bojack, but I disagree. I would say this gets dropped down to B tier. Reason being, red salts. You're waiting for no bubble left behind to upgrade. It's still a strong bubble, but because of the cost, it's B tier. Call me Pope. Call me Pope gives you times worship charge rate per hour and also max worship charge, but it does cost Krabos, and it is not a linear bubble. This is a naughty, naughty bubble. This is like one of these bubbles that you auto equip. It's strong early game. It's strong mid game. It's even stronger late game. You're you're basically trading up tra trapping gains for worship gains. We're, we're gonna we're gonna put this at the old S tier. Gospel leader, which gives you a percent max charge per ten worship levels. So the more worship levels you have, the higher this scales. I think this starts off kind of weak, but then it becomes super, super disgustingly strong late game. We do need to remember it is Mesquite Snows. You don't really prioritize this. It is not linear until you're in later game anyways. It is kind of just a quality of life bubble. I'll put this below Maddie Statford. A linear bubble known as Smart Boy Talent that will give you talent points specifically for the mage. And it costs Sippy Straws. Arguably, this is one of the best talent points that you can get in the game because it's for mages. And mages are also incredibly, incredibly talent hungry. They also require some of the most funding in the game. I think if you're actually planning on pushing with ES and with Bubo, you 100% need this. It does only affect one character, but man, this one's chef's kiss. So I think right here, bottom of the list, Esther, purple bargain. Material cost of all purple bubbles are reduced by a percentage. This is kind of the same as every other bargain tag. You know it. I know it. We all know it. It's not even that good of a bubble. It's a bad cost. It starts off okay at the start, but scales really far down really quickly. It's not good early because in early game, you don't get a lot of green souls. So I, I would say for that reason, C tier, not a priority. Now we have a huge one. We have Nickel of Wisdom. Gives you cash for monsters for every 250 wisdom. This is the best one out of all of them because your boobo is your money farmer this is what scales your money percent very very hard it does cost alien logs so it is a little bit expensive what makes it not s tier is how late you get it and the fact that it's alien logs so top the pack a tier i'll give that no problem severe purple gives a multiplier higher bonus than displayed for the first third fifth 13th and 15th Severe Purple multiplies Stable Genius, which is Total Wisdom, Hocus Choppus, which is Chopping Efficiency Percent, Nude Bubble, which is XP, Gospel Leader, which is Worship Charge, and Purple Bargain, which is Discount on Bubbles. So, I mean, let's be honest, the only two important things that comes from it is Hocus Choppus and Stable Genius. And it does cause Void Ore, though. And the scaling isn't terrible. It's currently at 271. It gives me 2.26 times. It's a little bit expensive, but it's not that bad. I would say easily S tier. Now, Tree Sleeper gives us chopping AFK gains, but it also costs purple souls. Okay, we need to make this clear. When it comes to chopping, this is how I got 1.2 billion oak log print. I would say it's really, really strong. It doesn't deserve to be in C tier. I would definitely for sure say top of B tier. We have Hyper Swift, which gives you percent basic attack speed. I really don't think it's that good. This is definitely not something you're hard prioritizing. And chat, you got to remember, Manta Rays. Manta Rays are not easy. I would say top of back C tier. 
So now it's time to go to prioritize. We have a multiplier bubble known as Mage is Best. This multiplies every small passive bubble other than bubble one. Do we even need to have a conversation here? You know it. I know it. We all know it. This is easy as tier. Boost everything by a multiplier except for big bubbles and the first bubble. Not even a question. Top of the pack. Evolve Matrix, which is a big bubble, so it has to be equipped. It gives you percent lab XP and it's scaling as dog. I'm a little biased on this bubble. I've never once equipped it ever. And it takes cube logs and it's additive bonus, by the way. So you see how it says 46%? This is 0.46%. I don't think it's F because it does help with the pushing, but I would say low C tier. You know what? I take back what I said. This thing's fucking F tier. It's a dog bubble. Next one, chat, we have is wand power. This gives you 27% more weapon power from your weapons, but only if it's wands or fisticuffs. This is higher than the rest of them. It does cost bits, so it's unadmable, but it does help V-Man. V-Man has a lot of problems building high damage. This helps with high damage. Out of all the powers, it's the best of the best. Since V-Man has such low power of trying to build up damage, so far it stays at bottom A. Slave Log Soul. It gives you chopping and worship power per 100 items found and shown in the slab, and it requires scarabs, which is a world 5 catching. Is it really a priority, though? You know how hard it is to catch scarabs, considering most people haven't done their slab farm, and considering this becomes a priority later game. This is where I would put a chat, right above Gospel Leader at B tier. All right, next one, chat. We have Pious at Heart. You gotta remember that it does cost late game sailing, so you will not be obtaining this when you're doing your divinity farm. This is bubble number 23, by the way, chat. So this is the second to last bubble that you're gonna be getting. This is gonna be really, really good if you're trying to push to divinity like 120. I would say it's a good bubble for that reason. Since it's not linear, it's still top of C then. Slave Wisdom. She gives you base wisdom per 100 items found shown on the slab and it costs crawlers base materials. This is a pretty insane bubble. This is base wisdom, Jet, but it does cost crawler materials. You gotta remember, Jet, this is also bubble number 24. This is one of the last bubbles that you'll ever get. But because of the cost and where you're actually gonna be when you actually unlock it, I would say bottom of the pack E tier. Power of Tri-3, which gives us total damage percent per 250 whiz. And also, beginners get luck. But the cost is musical notes. This is one of the biggest damage spikes that you'll ever get, especially because mages get so much wisdom stat. This is where I put it, 100%. Hocus Choppus, which gives us chopping efficiency per power 10 of max MP, but it also costs nails. This is why people get crazy prints. Literally mandatory for prints. There's a reason why people hard focus, hardy diggy, and hocus choppus, okay? Because it's that good. It's insane. Here's the thing, okay? If it didn't cost nails, it would be right here, okay? It says it costs nails. It's right there. Multi-logo. Multi-logo increases your multi-log chop chance, and it can increase the cap up to 300% instead of the measly 100%. Yeah, but it's iron, chat. If it wasn't iron bars, easy, easy easy s tier let's let's keep this in the reminder here not everybody has brimstone slots but because it's iron bars which is arguably very very hard top of the pack a tier nude bubble gives you shopping and alchemy xp but it costs chains because not to mention you get so much xp from shaman so this basically is negligible it is an additive and shopping is one of the easiest skillings to level up in the game so here's where i put it yet middle of the pack c tier we have the legendary almost arguably the best base damage bubble of the game name i guess name i guess increases base damage by a amount that's a linear this bonus increases based on how much max mp you have above 150 cost scale so hard early game this is the only bubble that you can also hourly click by the way out of all all the base damage bubbles. I personally would say right here, literally right above, call me Pope. The brain tools gives the following tools percent more skilling power than normal hatchets and worship skulls. And it takes cereal flies. Zero flies aren't used for like practically anything because it is good for hatchets and worship. Getting high worship is kind of difficult. So because it costs cereal flies, so it's not super expensive, I would put it right here. This one is going to be interesting. Cooking roadkill. Cranium cooking, which is the shaman talent that lasts a percent longer, gives a percent more progress per kill, and has a percentage lower cooldown. It also gives alchemy XP and it costs 
toilet logs. Boys, my dudes, it's S tier. Without this, skipping years of alchemy progress is obtained with this bubble. It is that massive. And it's super, super, super strong, even in the mid to early game. And once you get to end game, holy sweet Jesus. Arguably, not even a question, top of the S. And the last one, chat, Brewstachio. Brewstachio increases your brew speed by percentage. This is a multiplicative bonus. It also gets doubled, but it also costs Tyson stakes. Eh, it's okay. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, chat. For the longest time, I didn't even know it existed. By the way, by brew speed, this is only for colored cauldrons. This is not for distilled water. This is not for any of the other waters. This is specifically only for colored cauldrons. Here's what I put it, chat. Rustachio is just below XP. There you go, my dudes. A purple bubble tier list. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your feedback. But anyways, I gotta get back to the guide grind. Stay tuned for the next Eilon video. Stay safe. Happy grinding. And peace out.